Detroit is a very nice state because I had a very nice surprise when I got home from work. I had something directly from Transyl Transylvania sent to me. This box. Well, it's a vampire box. Normal. But what is inside? Yes, you have already guessed it. It's the long awaited Vampire 1200. Okay. Let me try to get it very carefully from the package. And this needs to be done very carefully because it has some pins that can bend easily. So, just a moment, guys. Okay, here comes. Okay. And there it is. The fantastic Vampire 1200. What do we have here? Let us analyze this carefully. Oh. What do we have? Well, we have the, the FPGA. We have the SD slot, HDMI slot, GTAG slot, expansion slot, Ethernet module connection, and connectors for the HDV LED, power, and reset. Well done. Then memory, the the IDA slot and from the other side very nice okay let us plug it we have also <coughs> a small manual with the instructions disclaimer blah 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 okay you guys read it because it has some important information. So, this is my old Amiga 1200. Uh, it's more or less abandoned. It's not abandoned, but, uh, well, I use it uh, not that often. And it has two megabytes here from the PSC slot, two megabytes expansion RAM, and let's open it. Is completely recapped, even the the power uh, the power power model is also recapped. Everything is recapped, and I have an old accelerator or thirty at fifty megahertz, forty megahertz, that we will replace with our Vampire V twelve hundred. Okay, just a bit. Just a moment. Okay. It's mounted. I will remove this thing. We don't need it anymore. And okay. Uh, at this moment with the supplier core, it's a test core. Uh, it will, the, the, the EDA, uh, the stock EDA, is not working <clears throat> so we have to use the vampire one but I have already seen that will be complicated or difficult to assemble these kinds of CFs because it will collide with the uh, floppy drive okay so I will not be able to boot from the EDA 
right now I have to uh, disassemble um, the, the floppy drive but no matter I just want to power it up first and then the rest we will see so <coughs> let's reassemble the keyboard case okay it's not connected over, over the HDMI, it's connected through the RGB. Okay. Connected to my TV, RGB, not HDMI, I already exact, uh, said. So let's power it up and see what does it do. Power on. Oh. Okay. So it has started, it has booted, booted to the ROM, over the ROM. Okay, um, I don't have anything here to try it. I have everything in my, in the bat cave. Let me see what I have here around. Maybe I have some discs. Oh, money. I have found money. Oh, five pounds. I am rich. Fantastic. Uh, I have some discs here. Maybe I can try one. Sees info. Perfect. Sees info. Let's see what I have here. Sees info. Okay. Let's see if it, does it boot or not. It's booting. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see that disc. This is a four. And it detects the processors and FPU, okay. And speed. That's what we have right now. Memory. It detects the combat RAM. Fantastic ship. Okay, previous. Exit. Fantastic quit. What? I can try maybe one of the games you boot. Let us see. Games Indianapolis. Eh, yeah, fuck. I don't know what is this. Flipper. I really don't know what is in What is in this floppy? Nothing special. Let's try something else. This one. Also nothing. Hmm. Okay. Indianapolis. Maybe it will start. Maybe not. Well. Start something here. Okay. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, baby. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Fantastic. Okay, boys. This is my first boot. My first power one with the Vampire uh, Vault 1200. My first video with it. The first of many. Guys. See you next time. Well, guys, not so fast because I have almost forgot to show you something. Okay, and what I want to show you is under the woods. So let's open up the Amiga really carefully. 
because I want to show you something really, really great. Carefully lifting up the keyboard and look at this. Look at this LED. Uh, let me try to apply some filters here. Yeah. Exposure compensation. Okay. You guys have to see this for yourselves live because the video is not making, is not showing how beautiful the LED is. In the bottom side, you have also some LEDs which gives or provides a nice environment light environment to the Amiga 1200 that's it boys it's time I say bye 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 see you next time